Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. So we're moving on to chapter two now. And I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm a little bit like sketchy and a little bit scared because somebody decided to tell me that both this chapter and the next trial are pretty difficult. And my greatest fear is fucking up. So I can only imagine how this is going to turn out, honestly. Doesn't really seem like there's much for me to do in here. Because I guess everybody's still suffering from both Leon and Sayaka's death. Can I just sleep? Is that all I had to do? Go in the bathroom. Make sure that's clean, right? Yeah. It's gone. She, she really is gone. It's almost like there was never anything here to begin with. Every last sign of Saika's existence... Uh, bleh, 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 bleh. Every last sign of Saika's existence had disappeared without a trace. It's just like he said. After the class trial, before we took the elevator back up, Monokuma had told us... Oh, I almost forgot. Since the class trial is over, I'll go ahead and dispose of all the corpses. What are you gonna do? It's okay, no need to thank me. Just seeing your delighted smiling faces is thanks enough for me. After all, nobody wants to go look at a rotting corpse every day. That can't be good for your health. <laughs> Interesting. I didn't even have time to mourn Sayaka and Junko's death. I'm sure that's exactly why he did it. It's a bad joke, a sickening dream, but I have to accept the reality of it all. I headed back to the dining hall to meet up with the others. Sorry I'm late. So, um... Hey, are you okay, Makoto? Listen to me! You sure took your sweet time. I was just about to go get you and drag you back here. Alright, listen dude. I just lost the love of my life. Or supposedly, the love of my life. Who really just actually turned around and betrayed me and was gonna frame me. So, I got a lot of mixed emotions going on, alright? I don't need your fucking candy ass coming up to me telling me that I'm not on time and that I should have been here sooner. You don't understand what I'm going through, alright, man? So, you can, you can fuck off. So, what happened? Was your room fixed up like you said? I imagine it would be pretty hard to sleep with a rotting corpse in your bathroom. You know, this guy really is a fuck. Hey, through and through. Come on. Yeah, thank you. Jesus, that's fucked up, man. Why would you say something like that? Yeah, it's not being such a cock, dude. My room was spotless. There wasn't anything left. Like, the whole thing never happened. I see. Must be tough staying there, knowing what happened. Why don't you just stay inside his room? Well, staying there with her scent still hanging in the air, that would hurt just as much. Plus, I've decided that I can't turn away from her death. Hmm. Makoto? Um... Hey, cheer up. Getting depressed isn't going to help anything, right? If we all work together, I'm sure we'll find a way out of here. You got it! So everyone just try and cheer up and get back on track. Hmm. Is that honestly supposed to make us feel better? Huh? Huh? Hmm. We were already working together, and yet someone was still murdered. Anyone could betray us at this point. Now that it's happened once, it's a question of not when. Or not if. Wait, it's a question of when, not if, the next one will take place. Yeah, because Sayaka made the first move. Well... But if we work together against the Mastermind, nobody will have any reason to do something like that. Stop talking. Keep telling yourself that. I'll be over here in the real world. Working together, fighting a common enemy, like it or not, it's not that simple. Um... What do you mean? Are you okay with this? The Mastermind seems to be much more powerful than we ever suspected. You know, something that finally, before I started recording and I was starting up this game, something that kind of popped up into my head was that I'm starting to be a little bit wary of Celeste. Only because it seems like she was so quick to accept and adapt to this new environment that I feel like she seems like that kind of dark individual who wouldn't hesitate to kill somebody to get out of here. So I'm really going to want to keep my eye on her. They took over Hope's Peak, which was supposed to be well defended, then modified it to fit their desire. They created Monokuma, which seems to be incredibly advanced, and they're providing for our every need. Then the cherry on top is the execution we witnessed. Honestly. Everything has been played. Everything has been planned down to the last excruciating detail. 
This is not the work of your everyday psychopath. Defying them may be too great of a risk. So then... Then, what are we supposed to do? <laughs> Anyone who truly does want to escape will just have to follow the rules. <laughs> In which case, the only option is to deceive those around you and win the game. No. What? No what? I... I can't take it! I don't want to live... If it means killing someone else to do it... I don't want to kill anyone else. Huh? Anyone else? What do you mean? It's because... Leon died because we all voted for him, right? It's no different from us killing him ourselves. But... Yikes. That's a pretty harsh way of looking at it. I didn't even think of it that way, but... I mean, she's kinda got a point? If we hadn't voted for him, then we all would have died instead, right? And yeah, there's the other side of it. So it's it's really mixed feelings. Holy smokes. That isn't what you wanted, is it? So it would seem. She's right. If you keep that kind of blame on yourself, you'd turn into a full-fledged masochist. And nobody likes a masochist. Chair, listen. You're not to blame. Not you, not Leon, and not Sayaka. The mastermind is responsible for everything that's happened. We had no choice but to vote. I can't even imagine what would have happened to us if we'd refused. And in the end, it was Monokuma who ultimately killed Leon. So don't waste your anger on yourself. Instead, direct it at the mastermind. Monitor is looking a little bit tilted. Let me just... There we go. Uh, that didn't really help at all. Never mind. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. Mm -hmm. As such, it is officially <sighs> nighttime. Uh -huh. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Oh, and one other thing. Uh huh. Oh, you finally going to tell us something it different this totally time? It was totally obvious before that you were trying to make yourselves feel better and justify what you did. See you, see you, don't see you, see you. That's about how much I can see you, even when you try to hide. Now pay attention and remember this well. The burden of judging others is a heavy one to bear. So be well aware of your actions. Order and stability rely on the sacrifice and responsibility of everyone. I have no idea what you're saying right now, Monokuma. Okay then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Who is slamming doors in my house? You need to stop right now. <laughs> what was that just now? Was he saying it's our fault what happened? That's pretty cruel, man. Uh, once again, this is another conflicting whole morality thing. Because... Monokuma did set place as to what was going to happen, and such, and kind of instigated these events. But it's not like he held a gun up to anyone's head and was like, "Hey, if you don't kill this person, then you're gonna fucking die." Like he, he didn't. He's not really forcing people to commit murder, but he's more of instigating everyone's own. I guess. How can I put this? Desires or instincts, maybe. It's basically playing their own fears against them to push the motives of wanting to kill others. So, <laughs> it's really 50-50. I don't know, man. This it is weird. Don't fuck with me. That piece of shit. Who does he think he is? And so the day drew to a close. A tense, maddening day that saw the deaths of three classmates. Sayaka, Junko, and Leon. I honestly, by the way, was not expecting Junko to die so soon in the game. I figured that she would last until later, but I guess that turned around real fast, didn't it? But this is just the beginning. Our despair has only just begun. Oh. I woke up the next day to Monokuma's normal morning announcements, then he called us all to the gym. 
What's he going to do to us this time? We were practically frozen with fear, but Monokuma was determined to get us involved in this little game. And with that goal in mind, he began it. Okay, lift your arms up and down. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now reach way up and bend way down. Tighten those muscles. Let's add a little strength, a little speed to those young bodies of yours. I can't tell whether Monokuma's exhausted or if he's just really turned on right now. I'm really hoping that it's not the latter. Ah, doesn't this feel just great being stuck inside like this? You gotta make sure to stay healthy. <laughs> You're the w one keeps telling us stuck inside. <laughs> don't sweat the small stuff, that's my motto. Yeah Whoa, I sounded pretty cool just now, don't you think? Did you fall in love with me? Am I just to die for? Am I just to die in writing a writhing agony for? So? But <laughs> So why did you call us here? Certainly it wasn't just to make us exercise. <laughs> Just to make you exercise? Just to make you exercise. If exercise makes you laugh, exercise will make you cry. Now if you keep doing these exercises, you will uncover the secret of the assassin's fist. Passed down from generation to generation in the empire of darkness. The power can be yours. That sounds like the kind of junk a middle schooler would kind of... Cunt... Ca uh, come up with. It doesn't matter. Just get to the point. Do you really call us down here just to exercise? Hey, um... Of course not. You think I have that kind of free time on my hands? Okay, so then... Ah, hmm. uh, I'd like to make an announcement. Every time you overcome a class trial here at Hope's Peak, a whole new world will open up to you. What the heck? A whole new world. You guys? It'd really suck if you had to live here forever with nothing new to simulate you. Besides, I know how you kids get these days with your ADD and ADHD. I gotta keep you motivated. Very nice. So go ahead, look around all you want. Enjoy the brave new post-trial world till you explode. With that, Monokuma disappeared, leaving us even more confused than when he'd shown up. But, a new world. Could it be? Is he talking about a way to get outside? I wonder about that. That seems unlikely. Piece of shit! Well, we don't know till we look. Hey! Whatever he meant. It seems we'll have to search the school one more time. You hear me? Okay, then let's put up and start investigating. When you're done, everyone meet back at the dining hall and we'll share what we found. <laughs> you're basically a one-trick pony, you know that? Got it! More like a stable food source. Now let's get moving. Seeing his words as their signal, everyone scattered and left the gym. So, I'm thinking perhaps maybe uh, another area has been opened up. Maybe... I'm thinking either the bathroom has been, or like the bathhouse has been opened up, or perhaps maybe the, the, the upstairs. What the heck? Hey Makoto, did you see what's inside the display case? Bad, this is super bad, man. What are you talking about? I didn't notice anything all that weird in there. Mm. Sure, to the untrained eye, it's nothing, but this is awful. A bad, awful, terrible trap. Serious? That stuff you see lined up there? Any god could come by and use it to send a message. Huh? Uh, uh, I've been struck with knowledge. It's an ill omen of total devastation and ruin. Let me out of here! I have no idea what he's talking about, so maybe I'll just leave him alone. Uh, I guess we'll check it out. Inside the display case are trophies and other items. Winning championships and stuff probably came naturally to anyone going to school here. Is it maybe up here? That's yeah, the same thing. Never mind. So I guess Hero's just retarded, so that's fine. Maybe there's a coin in there? No coin here. Is there a coin here? Ah, there it is. Fantastic. Alright. I don't have time for this. Let's get out of here. Aha! Okay. That's what I was thinking. Makoto, look. The gate blocking the stairs is gone. It would seem a path to the second floor is opened up. But it's also of utmost importance to double check the areas we already know about just we in case. Aren't I so clever to think of that? I really impress myself sometimes. You understand? Well, I'll leave the school to you. You're gonna die. Like, 
Out of everyone, I think you have the highest death flag here. That shit is waving high and mighty. That's gonna open up eventually. At some point. I'm not sure when, but it will open up. Hey, what was that? Should look around the school first. I need to find out what Monk meant by New World. Da -da -da. Yo. I went and checked the metal. Oh, the metal hatch of the main hall, just to be sure. But Shit. just like I figured, it hasn't moved an inch. Shit. Yeah, I'd be surprised if I made things easier for us. If he made things easier hey, for us. It. Hey. What? Don't make that face. You look like a pussy. You want me to put some fighting spirit in you? Well, do you? Uh, no thanks. I think I've had enough Yo. for now. Well, okay. I'm gonna go look for another way out then. Yeah, good luck with that. I wish you the best, Mondo. I should look around school first and find out what Monokuba meant by New World. Alright then, fine. How about here? I just wanted to spend my fucking coins, but if you're not gonna let me do it, that's okay. That's trial area, classrooms that have no significance whatsoever, because it doesn't even seem like this class even learns anything. Uh, okay, that's fine. Okay, I guess I have to go up the stairs then. They tell me to explore the places that we've already been to, but you're not even going to let me explore the places that I've already been to. Okay, yeah, those blocking stairs have been open. Is this what Monokuma meant by New World? If so, what's up there? This is the second floor of the school. Maybe there's some kind of clue here. Yeah, I'm sure of it. There's got to be something here. Oh my gosh, there's a pool? I don't care about that. There's gonna be something different in the boys' bathroom, right? I guess not. Wait, what was that? There it is. This is where the bathroom clean supplies are stored. I don't see anything useful in here. Never mind. Just continue on my merry way. I really want to check out that pool, but that pool is gonna have to wait. What's this? A new classroom. The baby is sleeping. Please be quiet. That's interesting. I see. This must be what he meant by a new world. Just probably take a really close look around. Uh, there's the clock. I'm only looking for a coin. Oh yeah, I've got the coin. I'm gonna check this one. Is there a coin here? No coin. How about a coin here? It doesn't appear like there's anything else in here. Baby is sleeping, please be quiet. So I'm wondering if this is one of those um, child development classes kind of thing. What the hell is this? Library? 